At the end of the last video, my locally sourced, cheaply made microbit robot had a bit of an accident failing to see the edge of the table and impacted with the living room floor. Now, I've forced, been forced to do a bit of a lobotomy this time. The microbit has been removed and now it acts like a bit of a zombie here, being driven directly from the infrared sensors. So it's the same setup with the sensors. You have infrared being reflected and detected, amplified by the LM358P duo op amp, and that is now directly driving the motors. Now in order to get rotation, one motor has to move forward while the other one moves backward. And so that can be done by just simply driving both H bridges from each detector. Now to prevent the situation where you're creating a dead short across the H bridges, I have two PNP transistors. Let me just turn this around. Two PNP transistors here that if both detectors are activated at the same time, the PNP transistors will stop having a having the um, dead short across both H bridges. And thus we get forward movement. So you could very easily make a more or less brain dead line follower with this sort of setup. So you don't actually need the micro bit at all or any sort of uh, microprocessor or microcontroller. Something as simple as a few transistors and op amps is sufficient to get some sort of behavior from this very cheaply made locally sourced robot.